Good morning. Today is July 24th and I wanted to come on here to verbally share with you guys this dream that I had this morning because I did make a community post about it, but sometimes there's just certain dreams that are better like verbally spoken and you can't really explain it if you're just typing it out. So in the dream, I was in this like building or I was someplace with these other ladies that were like believers or Christians and there was a teacher or a counselor or something. It was a woman, but she was, it felt like she was a guide or a counselor or a teacher. And what I get from that symbolically is, you know, the Bible calls Jesus the wonderful counselor. That's one of his names. So I'm thinking that, you know, it was just symbolizing the teacher or counselor person was the Lord and all the other ladies were, you know, it was just like the church. There could have been men in there, but I just, I don't specifically remember that. Um, but I was in this room with them and we knew that something bad was about to happen as far as like, I don't know if it was like a bad storm or there was something that was going to happen that was really negatively going to affect, um, like the air, the airwaves and the atmosphere and devices. Specifically, I remember cell phones were affected. And not only did we know that something was going to happen, but it was literally starting to happen right then and there as we were in that room. And it was like the air in the room was thick and like static electricity. It was almost like you could feel... Um, you know how like in the winter you have a blanket and you pull it out of the dryer and you can hear that crackle pop sound and you can just kind of feel that um, shock from it. That's what the air felt like. And I've dreamt that probably five other times in the past of some really, really bad storm. It's like an electrical storm in previous dreams. Like I remember um, in one dream there was like crazy lightning outside that was so dangerous that when it would strike, it like supercharged the air. And I know that the Bible says that Satan is the prince of the powers of the air. And that doesn't just mean like the actual air around you, but it can mean things like, um, you know, the internet and TV and radio waves and things like that. So I'm not really sure specifically what this was showing. But the air, the atmosphere around us was dangerous. And I knew specifically that our cell phones were dangerous to touch. So I took mine and threw it in a drawer. And I remember at one point when I was like reaching out to like grab my cell phone, there was some sort of like supercharged force field around the cell phone that when I like went to like reach to grab it, it like pushed the cell phone farther away from my hand. Like I couldn't get it because it was, it was, it almost reminds me of like when you have two magnets and you push them close together and there's that magnetic force field that pushes them away. It was very similar to that. But at some point I did take it and throw it in a drawer because I was like, I'd, it's dangerous. It was like toxic or something. And, um, that's really all I can remember specifically about that is just I knew that whatever it was that happened was affecting devices like that. And there was another scene in the dream that I thought I would leave out, but I'll just leave it in just in case. So um, one of the ladies in the room was somebody I actually know from YouTube that has a Christian channel. And she was sitting on a bed because there were beds in this room. It was kind of like, um, I don't know if it was like a church camp or something like that, but she was sitting on one of the beds and I was walking towards her to say something to her. And you know how, if you're like sitting on a bed, like on the edge of the bed, your feet are on the floor and you want to pull your leg up to just kind of like sit on it. That's what she did. But when she pulled her leg up to the bed, it somehow I got kicked and okay sorry about that um my alarm went off or something I have to go pick up my groceries but um 
in the process of her just like moving her leg up on the bed, she kicked me and I like got thrown across the room onto another bed and it, I just kept thinking about this woman. She, it was like she was wanting to appear in front of all the other Christians or women in the room that she was my friend and she was a believer and that she was harmless and that she was for me. But I was like thinking in my mind, I'm like, did she just kick me on purpose? Like, did she really just do that? And it was like she kept doing things that were on purpose to harm me, but she was disguising it as, oops, it was an accident type of thing. And so when I was like thrown on the bed, my head hit like the wall or the headboard or something. And it was like the blunt force of that, like kind of like shoved my head down into my neck a little bit and it like dislocated something and I was paralyzed. And I was just like laying on the bed and I was like, oh my gosh, like I damaged something in my spine and I could not move. And some of the other ladies in the room were surrounding me to help me. And um, she came over too and she laid hands on me. And when she did that, I was just, I had that feeling again, like she's not trying to help me. So she was like, oh wait, I'm gonna do this chiropractic move to readjust her neck to try to help her. But I was just, I couldn't move. All I could do was just lay there frozen. And I was thinking, I was like, she's not gonna help me. She's like gonna make it worse. And so she started doing something and she was, she was like trying to harm me, but in front of everybody else, it looked like she was trying to help. And whatever she did, kind of like snapped something and I couldn't breathe anymore and I was like fading out and I believe that that's when I woke up so I don't know what that was about other than like a warning about possible attacks from people who at least say that they're Christians or just you know people that you know just any general person around you that you think is your friend or they want to appear to be your friend but it was like she was actually my enemy and I'm like she shouldn't be doing that like she's in this place with us she's a believer but why is she like purposely doing things I don't know what kind of vendetta she had against me or something but she was trying to harm me but making it look like everything was an accident so I don't know what that was but for what it's worth I thought I would leave it in there and then um so the dream that I had or it was all the same dream but the dream the part of the dream where the storm or whatever was happening and it was causing this static charged atmosphere really reminds me for some reason of because like I said it could have been a CME but I I don't really I don't know a lot about CMEs. I don't study them. I don't really, it just doesn't really interest me. So I don't have a lot of knowledge about them or how they work or what they affect. I just kind of have like a general idea. But um, some of you guys might remember, it was either in 2020 or 2019, I woke up hearing the Lord say like, it was like he did this play on words. And he does that with me a lot sometimes. He gives me like play on words, which is kind of like really clever and kind of like a riddle or something and just something that I could never think of. So what I heard was Corona mass injection. And I knew that when I heard it, it was, I knew it was, it just was kind of like given to me that it was a play on words with um, coronal mass ejection which is a CME and I shared this with you guys on here and when I did a lot of you guys had said that I guess there's a theory that if we were to actually have like a pretty bad CME that the effect that that would have on people who are getting the V word right now could be pretty detrimental I don't know that that's just what I was that's what a lot of comments were saying that I got when I shared that, which is a pretty scary thought because um, you just don't know. I mean, some of these people are finding that they can stick magnets to themselves 
and like I said in the dream it was it was kind of like a magnetic force maybe it just reminded me of how you put two magnets together and they push off each other and um, so I could never think of something like that but I knew that it was a play on words with CME so the fact that he did that to me tells me he was trying to make a, make a connection between a CME and basically what we're seeing right now, they're trying to literally corona mass inject people with this shot because they're going door to door and basically either like bullying people or guilt tripping people or trying to coerce people to get the V word that haven't already or just making sure that people have. So that's what they're literally, they're going door to door now a lot of places and doing that. And so I'm wondering if that has something to do with why he gave me that play on words. Um, but I could never think of something like that. Um, but I have had multiple dreams in the past. I, I want to say at least five dreams where there's some sort of bad, like, lightning storm going on outside that the lightning strike is so powerful and um, dangerous that when it strikes, it just like sends this shock wave through the atmosphere and the air, everything in the airwaves is just um, fried, I guess. And that's kind of how it felt in this dream as well. So I've dreamt that multiple times. So I don't know if the Lord's trying to show, you could look at that so many different ways, but I just wanted to share this one because it's so similar to all the other dreams I've had like that. And I feel like it's tied to or has a connection to the V word um, somehow. So I want to say more to this, but I, I can't use certain words because YouTube will um, take it down or whatever. So I don't want to say, um, I don't even know if I could kind of skirt around the words a little bit. Um, I've heard that when everything goes five uh, capital letter G, that the effect that that's gonna have on the people who have taken it could make them kind of like zombies or mind controlled or drop dead. I don't really know. I've heard multiple different theories. Some of them are, you know, probably true. Some of them, I feel like people get a little bit carried away with ideas and just, I don't know. I don't know what effect that could have on people, but it would not surprise me if that's what they had been setting that up for. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on this because I'm not really educated on these type of things. So... That's all I have for now, and I did just want to mention the last couple of videos that I posted of the sunset. Um, that was July 19th, I think. They're saying that it's from wildfires over in Oregon. Um, I am about six to eight hours from the East Coast. I'm on the completely opposite side of the country. Um, so... And, you know, when I go outside, there's no, like, thick smog or smoke. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know. Some people have said it's coming down here from Canada. I personally, I haven't been paying too much attention to the news lately because I've just been busy with my summer break. So I don't even know if there even are fires going on because I just, I need to unplug sometimes and that's just, where I'm at right now, I just need to not pay attention to what's going on in the news right now because it starts to have a negative effect, effect on my health and my mind and my mental state. So I don't really know too much of what's going on. Um, I know a little bit here and there, but I don't know. I've heard it's from the fires causing the haze with the sunsets and at night here, the moon is, <clears throat> it's like so orange that it literally looks like what I described that I saw in a dream one time. I described this dream that I had where I saw a, a full moon and it looked like a literal wheel of cheddar cheese in the sky. It was so orange and the craters on it made it look like Swiss cheese. And so that's what the moon looks like at night here. 
but I can't get a video of it because for some reason the moon shows up white on my cell phone. But it, it just looks so eerie and I told my husband last night that it looks like Halloween. Ooh, that's creepy because... Oh, that's creepy because I said it looks like Halloween because with the orange full moon that we had last night, the, the haze around it makes the sky purple. So it's like purple with an orange moon and it just gives me like, you know, it's, those are like Halloween colors. And in the dream that I had where I saw that a moon that I called cheddar cheese, I was looking across, I was like, um, I was standing at the highest vantage point in my town looking across and I could see into New York City somehow. And there was a, um, some sort of festival going on where there was out of season Halloween decorations. I remember like the fireworks they were letting off turned into like jack-o'-lantern jack -lantern faces. And there was just like Halloween pumpkins and things, decorations all over town. And in that dream, I was trying to get a sighting of the moon. And when I finally did, when I climbed up high enough to see it because it was down on the horizon. I had to go up high to look down to see it. When I finally saw it, there wasn't just one moon, but two moons. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's time for the rapture because there's two full moons and they were just huge. And one of them was so orange. And I don't know, when I said that the colors of the moon now, the sky at night looks like a Halloween scene that you would see in a movie or, um, Halloween decorations, you know how the, it's like Halloween colors are like purple and orange. That's just kind of what I'm seeing. So I got to end this here. My hubby's calling. Let me know your guys' thoughts and I'll talk to you later. Bye.